Rachel, we've been over this. She was lying. That's before I knew she was able to get to the dean. What are you talking about? I had my meeting with him today, and I thought he was going to tell me how well I'd been doing, and instead, he threatened to expel me. Okay. Okay, that, that doesn't mean that it was Gibbs. You weren't there. No, I wasn't there, right? But it's not crazy to assume that they would question whether or not you knew about me without talking to Gibbs. Is it crazy for them to mention a crime you haven't even been accused of without talking to Gibbs? What? They said there are rumors of you taking the LSATs for people, and they're accusing you of doing that for me. Well, at least now I know what I need to do. Harvey, I know how we can stop Gibbs from pressuring Rachel. Does it involve going to Scotty without telling me? Harvey. God damn it, you had no rights. I had every right because I knew Gibbs would keep crossing lines, and that's exactly what she did. What are you talking about? She manipulated about? the dean of Columbia into threatening to expel Rachel. Where's your proof? They accused her of having me take the LSATs for her. But the only problem is there's no record of me ever having been accused of that. The guy you saw in court. Yes, his name is David Green. He must have told Gibbs about me, and then she used that to get the dean to strong-arm Rachel. That's abuse of power. I told you, the only problem with that theory is David Green tells Gibbs about you and his career's done. Then he must have told her anonymously. Which doesn't help us, because we still don't have any proof that she contacted the dean. No, we don't, but it wouldn't be that hard for me to get. No, it could be a setup. It's too risky. This whole goddamn thing is too risky, but right now, Rachel's future is in jeopardy, and if I have to risk tacking on a few years to save her, it's not even a close call. All right, do what you have to do. Just don't get caught. David Green. <laughs> what are you doing here? So you do remember me? Of course I do. You're the guy we're prosecuting. Fake lawyer. Oh, I'm more than that, and you know it. What are you talking about? You hired me because I'm smart. What you don't know is that I have a photographic memory, which means I have your driver's license number from seven years ago memorized. Not that it matters, because I also made a copy. I think I made a copy of all my clients' licenses. Doesn't prove anything. Maybe not. But I also remember every answer I put down on a 104-question test. That's not proof. I don't know what is. What do you want? I want proof that Anita Gibbs is pressuring the Dean of Columbia to expel Rachel Zane. You can't do that. Yes, you can. OK, they went to law school together. There's your connection. Circumstantial public record not good enough. I do what you're asking and get caught, and my career at the U.S. Attorney's Office is over. And I give what I have to the DA, and your career as a lawyer is over. And you do that, you only implicate yourself. Yeah, maybe you didn't notice, asshole, but I'm already on trial. And now you're coming after the woman I love. And the truth is, you don't deserve to practice law. Maybe I don't either, but she does. And believe me, when it comes to this, I really don't give a shit about me or you. And what if I can't find what you're looking for? You know what, David? You might not have been smart enough to get 178 on the LSATs. But I'm pretty damn sure you're smart enough to do that.